How's it going everybody? In this video, we're going to discuss at a high level the concept of the centralized policy. So as we transition out of local policies and into centralized policies, we're gonna to need to understand what that really means for us in terms of what are the next steps. So for those of you that have been following along so far, thank you for first and foremost. This was actually kind of a contentionary for me because I had a hard time disseminating, but after I've gone through it a bunch of times and I'm kind of starting to get it, I'm just kidding, I'm, I get it. It just, there's a lot of things and a lot of the cool stuff that SD-WAN can do. So it's important to understand those details. So in order to make the capability effective, in order for this to work the way that we expect it to, when we talk about the centralized control policy or a centralized data policy, let's understand the difference between the two. Centralized data pol or centralized control policies are going to affect OMP. They're going to affect how the next hop is gonna work or how OMP is going to forward traffic depending on the scenario. Where traffic or the centralized data policy is supposed to affect data plane traffic, but it's supposed to be applied to the V edges at the global level, and that's specifically at the interface level. For example, with QoS, we took a look at that and we saw where in order to affect the shaper and the policer, we had to create the, the shaper and the policer and then apply the information to the interface at the, interf at the interface level. Where in the centralized model, we're taking that at a step a higher level and we're applying it at the global level. So it affects all interfaces. It affects all traffic. So we'll take a look at exactly how that comes into play as we proceed forward. But for right now, we just need to understand, before we get into any of the real centralized policies and how we go through and create them, what are, do we need to have in play in order for all this type of stuff to work? Well, in order for this to work effectively for us, we need to actually have the configuration set up to where we can actually go through and set up vSmart. We go ahead and uh, exit out of my pen tool software. It decided to crash on me. What I mean by that is when we go to create a control policy or anything on vManage, right? We can configure it on vManage through a centralized model. We come up here, we create the policy, whether it's a control policy or a data policy we create it here on the vManage. And then when we're talking centralized, we need to take into consideration that it's going to get applied through a centralized position, which means it's gonna get applied through vSmart. Now, in order for this to work, we actually have to configure vSmart. Wow, that was loud. We need to create a vSmart policy, or I'm sorry, vSmart template. So the vSmart template will be configured on vManage and then applied to the vSmart. Now, it'll be no different than that of a device or feature template. We'll create a bunch of feature templates and then we'll push, assign those feature templates to a device template that will eventually get pushed to the vSmart. When we configure that, when we go to configure control policies or centralized policies or uh, data policies that are centralized, con centrally configured, we're actually going to push those policies from vManage to vSmart. And then from vSmart, we'll push them down to the v edges, which are going to get pushed over OMP peerings down to the v edges and to affect how the v edge handles traffic. Now, there's a number of ones that we're gonna go through and take a look at. This is where we'll get into things like hub and spoke. We'll take a look at VPN segmentation and a bunch of other capabilities and options that we have available to us. So this is an area that I've started to go into, but before I can really dive into it, I wanted to get through the localized data policies first so that we could then transition over to centralized policies, which means that when we go through and set up the vSmart policy, the vSmart template, we'll create the templates, apply it to the vSmart, and then that will allow us to create the centralized policies both for control and for data, and then push them through the vSmart down to the v edges to affect the way that things are gonna happen. So that's basically what we're gonna go do 
we still have to create the VPN zero and the VPN 512, uh, the banner of the system, all that type of stuff. We basically have to onboard the vSmart as a vEdge, which is, it's already there. We just have to convert it from CLI mode to um, template mode. So for those of you that are wondering, can you configure it from the CLI? You can. Um, I don't recommend you do that. Just like I don't recommend people go into the vManage and start creating policies there. The I'm going to start transitioning away from doing things at the CLI level and doing them at the vManage level and then pushing them via vSmart templates or centralized policy down via vSmart to the vEdges simply for the fact that there's going to be a number of clickety clicks that we're going to have to go through and to configure everything through the CLI becomes much, much more involved. So it'll be more difficult to try to tag things together. But what I'll do is I'll leverage the preview policy option. So once we get a policy created, we'll be able to preview and we'll see that CLI syntax. And so I'll be able to break things down from the CLI preview. So you'll be able to see what that looks like and go from there. But before we can do any of that, we have to bring the vSmart on board via templates so that we can actually push those centralized control policies. So that's some of the things that we're going to take a look at in this next section and go from there. I'm not going to go into a high level deep, uh, deep a high, a deep dive into all the different centralized policies at the moment, only because of the fact, well, we're going to be going through them individually and I'll talk about them on a one by one basis as we move forward. So anything that's centrally configured that could be configured uh, as a data policy, we're going to transition that over to a centralized data policy and we'll focus on those things like a centralized policer for QoS. That's something that we'll go through and configure via centralized policy. That'll be a data policy because it does affect the data plane. Same thing with the ACL. That'll be a, a, that'll be a centralized a data policy that we'll go create. Just like hub and spoke and VPN segmentation and service insertion things like that. Those are going to be things that we take a look at as we move, continue moving forward. So if you guys have any questions about how any of that type of stuff works, please leave a comment in the comment section below. But until that time, please keep stopping by. You guys are awesome. Please uh, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch all of you in the next video.